Alright, hey guys, what's going on? This is Space here, so welcome back to another episode of Lego Harry Potter. Last time it ended it very abruptly because the program crashed, so I had to redo the level all over again, so that was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I love that level, it's my favorite. Oh no, but seriously, it's, it's a good level, but I I didn't want to play it twice today, but hey, I did, so alright. You're welcome. Oh yeah, I'm just kidding. But seriously though, that was, that was something else, but okay. Hopefully it won't crash anymore. The most annoying thing about that is having to go through and change all of the controls again. I don't know why, for some reason, it just does not remember your controls, which is extremely helpful. I love that. My favorite. Alright, here we go. So last time we found Malfoy messing around with a vanishing cabinet. And uh, Professor Slughorn is coming back from his retirement, so alright. Yeah, we don't need tickets this time, suck em. That guy will be stuck on there forever. I promise. <laughs> Welcome to another difference in the book. In the movie. In the book, Harry goes to a slug club thing right off the bat on the train. And then, he follows Malfoy. Uh, well, he, f he follows one of the Slytherin guys, and then Malfoy uh, is there too. So he's like, hey, I got a spy on Malfoy. I think he's a Death Eater or whatever. And then uh, all that stuff happens. Ma uh, Harry gets knocked out. Uh, and in the book, Tonks finds him. Not Luna. So yeah, difference right there. So now we have the spectra specs so we can see invisible stuff, which is cool. Alright, very cool. That's one of the new features in this game. Also, Luna was not in the first game, I don't think. Well, no, I don't think she was. For one, she wasn't in the movies. And two, I don't even think she had a minifigure in that. So, alright. In that game, so anyways, yeah. So that's something cool that the, uh... First game does not have, the second game does. Luna. Alrighty. Booyah. And something the book completely, or the movie completely glosses over is the fact that, um, Tonks and, uh, Lupin are not super getting along that much because um, Lupin doesn't want to be in a relationship with Tonks, but Tonks does. She wants to be in a relationship with Lupin. He just feels that he's too old and stuff, and he's a vampire. And if he's a vampire, he's, he's a werewolf, so he would put her in danger. But uh, she still wants to do it anyways. It gets resolved in the end of the uh, the this one, and then they get married in the seventh one, which you don't see. Sadly, that would have been cool, but whatever. Well, I guess you don't read about their marriage, but that's okay. I don't think Harry was there, so I don't... Yeah, I don't think he was. Yeah, no, he wasn't. Okay, so. This would have been a, uh, a danger. They just, like, did it off somewhere. I don't even remember where they did it, but... Yeah, they did it in secret, so the Death Eaters wouldn't stop them. Alright, I just, like, threw that in the wall. Interesting. What's up, Dumbledore? How you doing, man? Hmm. Hmm. My boy. Ah, you got him there, Snape. Or right, Slughorn. Yep. So Snape finally gets to be the defense against the Dark Arts teacher, which is cool. They start doing non-verbal spells in 6. And they also get uh, something you don't see. Is apparition tests. They, uh, they take lessons in apparition and then they, uh, they have to take tests. But Harry is not old enough so he cannot take the test. But then eventually he is certified, you know. 
because he does so much apparition in uh, seven. So you know he's it's a piece of cake taking the test. So yeah. All right. Anyways, let's go back at Hogwarts, boys. I believe the first lesson of the day is potions. That looks like where we're headed right now, HG. Yep. Potions away. Oh yeah, lift up the gate, sucker. Alright, where's the last one? Over here. Someone trapped in the wardrobe, but we don't care about him. So it's kind of like in Gauntlet, if you remember the uh, guy trapped in the coffin. Dang, lavender. Oh, dang, got him, dude. Kachow. Sorry, the game just froze. No, I'm just kidding. I was uh, adjusting my blanket. I have a blanket over my shoulder right now because it's kind of cold, you know. Sorry, so you know where I'm from, you have summer, then you have like a few days of like maybe even one day of fall, then you just instantly get winter, which is what we're having right now in fall. And then for spring, you get like a few days of spring, then it's summer. So, yeah, there you go. I'd say it's a safe assumption to assume that this all will be very helpful. Ha, you get it? A safe is okay. All that for uh, a leaf. Very cool. I guess that's like a root or something. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Looks good to me. Mm, here we go. <laughs> it's always these three guys too. Like you have that one girl with the white hair, the witch. You've got that one guy, and you've got the, the other guy. Always the same people. All right, what's this? Oh, yeah. Got this bar of chocolate or whatever this is. Here, are my potions class. Got this snake. Well, you know what I like more than snake? Nothing. Golden bricks, sir. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess that works. Huh. Alright. It didn't help very much, but thanks anyways. Alright, we released the frogs. Good. A butterfly, okay. We just released all the frogs. Frog liberation. Haha. <laughs> Where's the last frog? Professor Slugorn, where are you keeping the frogs? You dirty scoundrel. Alright. Oh, what's up, son? Get over here, sneaky boy. Boop. Drink it. No, hey. Huh? 
Oh, I thought it was supposed to be pale, not blue. Now we have liquid luck. Very cool. Seamus always walks up stuff. Whoa. Alright, now, uh, what are we going to next? Let's see. Alrighty, I don't think that potion would honestly be very useful in reality, but you know, whatever. Once you want to like, kill someone, which is kind of messed up, so. Alright, here we go. Where are we going, boys? Oh, there's Lavender. It's like, you don't see her anywhere in uh, this game, at least until year six, so interesting. They're like, oh, yeah, she doesn't exist. Oh, wait, now she does. Hmm. Alright. Oh, I see. Dude, always with these stuff, man. <laughs> Every time they use a new uh, mechanic, they're like, hey, use it. Or die. <laughs> There's Dumbledore again. You can see him right up there at the top. Yep. I forgot about this chest over here. Let's open it. Uh, loot crates. Very cool. Ah. What a waste. Put it back, man. <laughs> Student in peril. Woo! Right. Pretty cool. You know, one of the advantages to this game, unlike the last one, is you had to like get the bell guy to like switch it so you could go up here, but now you can just go up here like whatever, man. Like easy, yeah. This is where Fluffy was in the first game, so. But now there's nothing in here, I would assume. That looks like Draco. Yeah, I don't care about the golden brick, man. I care about the minifigure. Ah, oh, throw it back. Zachariah Smith. Ah, oh, what a jerk. He's actually like one of the biggest jerks in the entire series. Alright. A very unlikable character, to say the least. I'm guessing that's a nod to the old game. The first game where uh, you had to ring the bell. So, Wait, what am I even doing, honestly? Why am I going all the way up here? Oh, lessons with Dumbledore. Duh, alright. This level is pretty cool. It's coming up. Um... See, it's always that one woman. Look at her. She's right there, too. Always. <laughs> they really need to make a Lego Fantastic Beasts game. That'd be awesome. As long as they com include all of the uh, all of the movies, since there are going to be uh, five. So, yeah. They gotta do it when they're done with the series. Which isn't for, like, another, I don't know, uh, yeah, six years, I think. So, still got some time. <laughs> Ah, really? Those floating Lego blocks. A young boy. So there's a lot that wasn't uh, that was left out of the book, or uh, left out of the book, left out of the movie, <laughs> left out of the movie from uh, Harry's lessons with Dumbledore. Like they go into detail, like they go to Tom Riddle's past, like before Tom Riddle was born, like how his mother came to be. And uh, how his mother um, used the love potion to get her father, to get uh, Tom Riddle Sr. So, to get her to have a kid and marry her and stuff. But then eventually, um, Tom Riddle Sr., she stops giving him the potion because she feels bad because he doesn't actually love her. So, and then, um, yeah. Eventually Tom Riddle kills, I believe he kills his father. As well as he kills, um, oh, it's like we're done with the oh, There, he kills uh, his uncle as well. And his uncle has the ring, which I believe is like the Ring of Gaunt or something like that. And that is one of the Horcruxes, the one that Dumbledore finds on his own. So, yeah, they skip out a lot of stuff in the movie. There's like two other memories that are talked about in the book, so 
yeah, you, you can, yeah, the movies are good, but you can also, like, find out more in the books, so. You know, I don't know what purpose that served, but whatever, oh, okay. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's in black and light. There are only a few levels like this in the uh, game. Or in uh, all of Lego Harry Potter. There's the riddle uh, level in uh, this first game. And there's this one. I think that's it. Oh, wait, no. There's one other memory thing in this game. Oh, yeah. It was the level. Uh, the Aquamancy level. That's right. Okay. So I think there are four black and white, black and white levels in total, which is cool. They even added film grain, film grain to it too, which is awesome. I guess it's more like muted color than I actually black and white, because you can kind of see color there a little bit, but yeah, very muted. Yeah, you can also see color there with spells. All right. Anyways, all right. Oh yeah. Interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Thomas. So that is why Tom Riddle went to Hogwarts. Getting straight to the point, I see. Interesting. He was like, oh yeah, we don't need all of that other stuff. Let's just get to the straight to the point. We need Slughorn. Slughorn, Dragonborn. Alright, with that guys, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode. And to continue on next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye. Strong button.